Now, net, next let us move on to next problem. A mild steel bar 50 mm square in section and 150 mm long is subjected to axial thrust of 200 kN. Half the lateral strain is prevented by the application of uniform external pressure suitable intensity. If E is equal to 200 GP and mu is equal to 0.3, calculate the alteration in the length of the bar. So what is the alteration in length of the bar is nothing but change in length of the bar. So delta L is to be found out. So first step is writing the given data. So A is equal to 50 mm because it is a square. So area is equal to A square. So 50 square which is nothing but 2500 mm square. L is equal to 150 mm subjected to axial thrust. P is equal to 200 into 10 power of 3 Newton. E is equal to 200 into 10 power of 3 MPa. Mu is equal to 0.3 and he has given one thing actual strain or actual lateral strain is equal to half of obtained strain. This is very important. So you must calculate the alteration in length that is delta L is equal to question mark. So as usual same thing. So we must find longitudinal strain then lateral strain take a half of the lateral strain get the new value of delta L. So first step is sigma is equal to P divided by A which is nothing but 200 into 10 power of 3 divided by 2500. Observe carefully. <coughs> 200 E3 divided by 2500. 80. So sigma is equal to 80 Newton per mm square. You got one value. Next, L longitudinal strain is equal to sigma divided by E. So longitudinal strain is equal to sigma is 80 divided by E is 200 into 10 power of 3. So E L is equal to 80 divided by 200 E3. So 4 into 10 power of minus 4. So second step is over. Third step mu is equal to ED divided by EL. So mu is given 0.3 is equal to ED divided by EL. EL is 4 into 10 power of minus 4 into 0 0.3. So you got answer 1.2 into 10 power of min minus 4. Next step is actual lateral strain is equal to half of ED Therefore, ED is equal to ED actual is equal to 1.2 into 10 power of minus 4 divided by 2. You get 6 into 10 power of minus 5.
Understood? Last step is to find delta L with this value. So next step is mu is equal to E D divided by E L which is nothing but E D divided by delta L by L. So substitute the value mu is 0.3 is equal to 6 into 10 power of minus 5 divided by delta L into what is L? L is equal to 150. Why? Because this L moves up. So calculate delta L delta L is equal to 6 into 10 power of minus 5 divided by 0 0.3 into 150. So, 6 E minus 5 into 150 divided by 0 0.3. So, you get the value of delta L as 0 0.03 mm. So, you have found out the required data. This ends the problem. Thank you.